Hello, Home Talk. I am Paula Blankenship, and I am here tonight with Melissa Osborne, and we are excited to share with you our technique using our amazing True Applicator sponge, and we're going to show you how to do that on your tabletop to get a multi-layered waxed look on top of the all-in-one paint. So she and I both are going to tackle this project. This has kind of been something that she's enjoyed doing, and she's shown you on a video that she created herself. So if you're joining joining us tonight, please share with us where you're from. Uh, let us know what city that you're joining us from. We want to make sure that everybody can hear and so on. So we are not mic tonight. We're going to try to talk loud so you can hear us. We're going to move around a lot. And so here we go. We're going to get started right quick. So Mel's going to help yep. me. Bear with us. It's just us two. So I got to do a little camera adjustment here real quick. All we'll right. make it quick. So the first thing that we're going to do is using the true applicators. I have a yardstick, just a nice wooden yardstick and use some of uh, Mel's handy little clips. And you can see these are just office clips. What do they call Gator clips? Binder clips. Binder clips, binder clips. Anyway, binder <laughs> clips, clip them on to, uh, and the way this little sponge is made, it's kind of slotted all the way around and you just clip it on. So they're dry right now. I'm gonna give them a little mist with a bottle of water, just to kind of get them um, moistened up. Just give them a little spritz of water, not a lot just to make sure that our paint will be nice and fluid and get them level. We've already painted this tabletop and something else that we've done to this, this was a table that had been painted many years ago and it was painted with our traditional chalk paint and it was also waxed. So we've cleaned it with TSP and we didn't do any sanding because the, the wax had cured out. So if you're always questioning whether you can do that or not, you don't really have to worry using the all one paint. Just paint right over it. You can see Mel painted this just, what, an hour ago? Not even. Used a tiny bit of paint. And anyway, we're gonna show you how to load up this and we're gonna drag this and give you a multi-tone finish really quickly. So anyway, here we go. We're using a color called cappuccino poured out into this plate. This is Iron Gate and this is our manor house, and we wanted something kind of earthy and warm. And before, I had shown you how to do this with wax, but we're gonna try it with the paint, so we're gonna load these up kind of differently. We're just gonna smash them across and get paint multicolors on each one. You may have to kind of help some along here. We don't really care what they look like so much. Um, we could have done these individually before we put them onto the stick, but we wanna get right into it without having you wait. So you're gonna to have to just manually do it, or then you can put them in the paint and then put them onto your, onto your stick, probably be the easiest. Anyway, you see I'm dropping some here. It doesn't really matter. It's all gonna get picked up in the finish. Anyway, we could put it on with a brush, probably easier. Mm -hmm. All right, let's set these off. Should put on some gloves. We have them here. Anyway, she and I are going to try to hold this together and drag it across. So you can see, which way can they see I think we need to go to the side. This side. way, there we go. this way? Yep. All right, so we're gonna set it down. We're gonna sit right in the middle so you can see the first swipe. And give it some good push, some good pressure. Push down on it, let's go. This Ooh, lets you keep your- can you guys see that? Keep it straight. Now let's switch sides. Okay. Go, you get, well, let's go right back over it again. Okay. We have not tried this at all. So the- we're Not just, with the yard Let's go, let's go back. Keep swapping, seem like it did better sometimes. That's the great thing about paint is you can kind of play a little bit. All right, that's for sure you can. Because now, maybe we need to load these up again, I don't know. We'll just keep trying. Oh, wow, I love it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's come get this one. I'm gonna drag Sorry, I'm gonna be in front of the camera for a second. And Amy is with us tonight on the computer. She's uh, not yes. here in person, but she's going to try to post some links for you and answer some questions. I'll get my side and you get yours. So feel free to ask away. I'm also, I've got my phone, so I'm going to try to read off some questions while Paula's painting and see if we can answer any of your questions. So we're using all-in-one paint tonight, and the reason that I wanted to use the all-in-one paint, here I'm going to duck down so you guys can see me a little bit. Uh, the reason we wanted to use the all-in-one paint is because it doesn't require top coat, and wax is not durable enough for a tabletop like this. This is a uh, kitchen table or dining table. And ain't nobody got time to top coat. It's not fun, it's not easy. If I can avoid it at all costs, I sure do. So that's why I love the all-in-one paint and I'm always trying to figure out ways to recreate my favorite um, restoration hardware looks or shabby looks using the all-in-one paint. I try to manipulate it to get it to have that look. So this was actually really easy to do. And if you don't have a yardstick or you don't have five or six true applicators, can always do this by hand. 
uh, one at a time. You just need to work a little bit quick because this paint does dry quickly. Um, or spritz it with a little more water. Maybe give your paint a little spritz before you start. That way it stays open a little bit longer for you. So, what are you thinking of it? Are you liking it? What they are it? loving it. I can see it. Good. Good deal. See lots of hearts. All right, so you can drag it all in mm -hmm. one, like if you get a dark stripe. There's just no rhyme or reason. Just mm -hmm. get on there and play with it and get what you want out of it. And you can do this in any color combination, too. Lori, all-in-one paint is made by um, Heirloom Traditions. It's um, our heritage collection colors is what we're using. It's available at Do It Best uh, hardware stores nationwide. Or you can also get it from us at allinonepaint.com. We'll post those links for you, too, Lori. All right, so we kind of straight here. Mm -hmm. Again, needing a little water. Maybe I can just wet it. It'll just wet right on there. Maybe. Actually, sometimes I like when you do that because it creates kind of a little acid spot. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I did that on my table. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah. With the wax. Okay, guys. Easy, easy. I'm really surprised that black wasn't too harsh. I was afraid it would be. All right, so we're gonna go around to the base of this table, and it's a really gorgeous, ornate base. How quick was that? How long would that have taken you ladies to do that with wax? I think well, that would have taken me at least a good 20 minutes, and we did it in uh, three, <laughs> maybe? Is anybody timing us? Well, I like that you can keep the line straight and blend the colors, you mm -hmm. know? Even feather the edge. Yep. That's the beauty of it. And just keep going, just keep softening. If you want to keep on softening, just keep on rubbing. And then, of course, you could like take one loose and use one, but I kind of like getting this wide sweep with it. And if you want it less stripy, you just keep swiping away, kind of blending. Mm -hmm. You can take a damp through applicator, a clean one, and give it a nice little kind of wash. Can you all hear us? Please comment and let us know if you can hear us. Give us a thumbs up if you can hear us. We can see that good from here. You want to keep blending out up there with one? Where you want me to blend? Just anywhere you want to go. Just to kind of soften it up. I'll just give them every idea of it here. So just keep going as much or as little as you want. Just like wax, actually. Yeah. And it's kind of, you know, it removes a little paint when you're working with the water. You don't want to let this stuff dry. you got to get to it pretty quick and stay on it. Any questions you have, please ask away. We're here to help and here to answer as many as we can and help you here live. We'll always go back through the comments and answer everything we possibly can. Okay, looks like that's gonna get that one pretty good. And I'm gonna take this one loose. You wanna keep swiping? Yep. Yeah. Any questions one. you have there? I can see them. Uh -huh. All right, good deal. No, it looks great, that I love like it. Everybody's pretty quiet tonight. Everybody ready for the holidays? Shelby wants to know if it's as easy as we made it look. Well, Shelby, yes. we're doing it live. <laughs> so. Well, it's hard to fake it when it's live. Can't hide much. The good, the bad, the ugly. It all shows on the live. Well, that's why we don't test. We just want to get mm -hmm. the raw reaction, and we want to do it prior. We don't want to do it prior. We, we act, you actually saw our very first time doing this, especially doing it together. I did it with wax on my own table at home. I've never done it with a paint. Mm -hmm. But I knew it would work, and I knew it would work very much like it's working. Mm -hmm. I feel like it would. Another option you can do, of course, if this gets too muddled and you've um, blended too much, you can always go back with a brush or with another true applicator in a particular color and kind of give it a little swipe, give it another little blend. Just keep layering until you get it just the way you want. Yep. Like I said, you're just playing. You can't mess it up because you can always go back over it with paint. Yep, if you get it too gray, you can just keep on adding your black back in or whatever you need to do. You can also antique this once you're done with the weathered wood. Mm -hmm. uh, put that over it if you want to add back some warmth to it. I'm going to go around the edge. You can't go wrong here. So she's going to go around the edge. Just clean, clean up that where, up. Yeah, just with a little damp true applicator. Just hit the edge of the table where the sponge is over hung there on it. Of course, I left that on my coffee table. It was rectangular and I really liked it that little kind of messy raw edge looking. So it's just whatever you like. Okay, cleaned up pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as you get to this paint while it's still pretty green. Yeah, and you can feather and you so add easily a little bit of sponge. water. You can feather it out really easy with the sponge. For this 
We are using, Christina, the all-in-one paint by Heritage Collection. And, and we're also using true applicator sponges to kind of do this blending here. We and they're out of them pretty much, but they're back on our website, going to be back available. Are they on there now? They're on there now. We have about 180 left right now. So if you want to get five or six of these, definitely jump on those tonight. Uh, but we are going to have them back in stock here in about a week or so in a two-pack. Yes, we are. So we're excited about that. So, so what are we thinking? Are you guys loving this? Good deal. All right, so let's get down here to the floor. Can you? Yeah. Okay, so bear with me. me. We're going to do another quick camera adjustment. Uh, we're going to wash over. Will this paint work on Formica? Yes, Anna, it definitely will. It's great with Formica because it has the built-in, sorry, getting you up close and personal there. Um, it has a built-in bonding primer, and it also has, um, to help it, adhere to laminates. It also has a built-in wax and a built-in top coat. So it's really the look of chalk paint in one step, which is a finish. the most brilliant thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> if I do say so myself, I know I'm a little biased. <laughs> all right, so Mel's already gotten down here and done all the hard there part. Perfect. She's painted. She's already gotten under here and painted all this on the floor. <laughs> so um, that's a fun. Yes, yeah, so and hand me something that we're going to wash over this. So oh, just want to show yeah, them. The manor house? Yep. So we're going to show you another way to use paint, this all-in-one paint like wax. Mm -hmm. And this gorgeous base, we're going to wash it over the, hey, just give me the plate. Has it got paint yeah. in it? It's got a little bit. Good Lord. <laughs> well, the go. lids really go on well, girls. So make sure that you get it. those loose. So you know our antiquing gel that goes with the Heritage Collection, you've seen us use it on here before. It is a grayish color, meaning it's part brown, part gray. Very complimentary of all the colors that we have in the Heritage Collection. But it may not always be the look you're going for. Um, so people a lot of times ask us if our gel waxes work with all-in-one paint because they want a white or they want that oxidized patina color, an aqua color. And our gel waxes absolutely do work with it. but. If you're working with a um, hard wearing surface like this tabletop, wax isn't gonna cut it for durability. You're gonna have to top coat over it. Like I said before, I ain't got time for that. So, we are gonna do a kind of a, a wash technique with the all-in-one paint in this beautiful Manor House color, this creamy off-white. So we're gonna kind of use it as wax. We're gonna put it on and immediately wipe it off to have the effect of wax again without the need to top coat or do anything else. That way we have a nice durable finish and we don't have to do any other steps. So we're sanding and distressing. So that's something we don't do a lot of because this paint doesn't do distressing so well unless you use a sandpaper, unless you get it early. So this is such pretty detail. We want to be sure and highlight the detail here. So I wanted to show you that, that oh. you can. Yes. Asha wants to know where your shirt's from. She loves it. <laughs> uh, gosh, I think I got it at uh, Steinmart, my go-to store. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've poured out uh, some of the Manor House here in my plate. Got a damp rag, so I'm going to go ahead and wash this into this detail. Down into the lows, just acting like it's wax, basically. Treating the paint just like a wax, going into all the little lows. I'm going to kind of work in a small area because I want this to come off when I want it to come off. So I don't want to be leaving it too long because it's going to think I'm painting it. I'm going to just remove it here quickly. So take one panel kind of at a time. Kim, the paint does not have much odor. We're very, totally doing this indoors in a small room and... Very little odor. Nope, I'm good. Okay. All right, ooh, I ooh. love that. <laughs> what do you think, guys? You guys see that? You like it? Very, very well. restoration hardware, if you will. And you can, um, if that's a little too white for you, uh, we like it, but if that's a little too white for you, you can always go back and take a damp rag really quickly and get a little more off. Right. Remove what you want, keep what you want. It's up to you. Becky, what do you mean you don't paint in heels? Doesn't everybody paint in heels? <laughs> They're wedges. It's not that bad. <laughs> We're at work, guys. We haven't gone yeah. home, so this is it. This is this is all we can do sometimes. We both live too far away to come back and do a live, so we do it at work. 
we'll just give you the whole vision of this is what we're doing on this table. Working it right into all the little grooves. I've got to sand some more, but I'm going to stop about right there and then sand a little more and continue with my wet distress and my antiquing. So just call it right there. I'm going to stop. I know, Ginger. Isn't that the most unique table pedestal you've ever seen? I've never seen one like this. I keep begging Paula to let me have this one, but I haven't talked her into it yet. <laughs> but it's I call dibs I when it decides to go. It's going with me. It's been one that I've drug around with me forever, forever. After I moved to Louisville, I had it in my house in Tennessee and just been one of those tables and I loved it so much. And it was one of the first pieces that I ever painted with our paint. So it's kind of got a history to me. I love this. It's looking mm -hmm. very chippy. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I'm going to kind of leave that. I could wipe it on off, but I think I'm going to just leave it. What do y'all think? You, you like that? See that okay? See, I could take this on off if I wanted. I believe off. I'm going to kind of leave it. Mm -hmm. Little strokes out of it. And you can do as little as you must. You could just do the areas where you want the white if you just wanted it on this base part and you didn't want it on this flat part. Totally up to you. Just like wax, you put it where you want it and wipe it back as much or as little as you want. And you're done. You're done. I remember whenever I painted this, you all, it, all the people who've used wax in the past can uh, be with me on this one. As I finished this piece, I painted this tabletop and it had a gorgeous finish on top and I sanded it all. I was using an electric sander and had a mess in my house. And when I got down to this base, I had it all painted, had it all sanded and distressed. And it was time to put on a clear wax over it. And you know what I honestly had to do? I didn't clear wax it. <laughs> I said, I don't know, maybe nobody will ever notice that I didn't put clear wax on that. I just could not bring myself to get down here and do this again. So, if you felt that before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's too hard. Very, very hard to be under a table and you can't set up. Yeah. Ginger, the table has all always been black. Uh, let me see if I can... No, it's actually been oak. That was, was the color... Oak. Yeah, it was oak originally and that. then it was this kind of off-white and dark wax color before and we just painted it black today so I do you have the black paint over there Mel I can get it sure. <laughs> I'm making her do all the climbing here <laughs> all right so oops I need a clean brush now that one's oh. all gooed up yeah. brush, hand me that I have a little brush that'll be even better and also maybe the black yeah. paint I have I have the black paint got it sorry Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh my, she was serious when she said little brush. <laughs> <laughs> so because this table's been already waxed, I know we kind of talked about that a little bit before, but I just want to kind of go over the steps again. Can you see that? Let me tilt it a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna give this some detail on this So this edge. paint does not require that you do much prep. The one thing it does require that you do is clean it really well. You gotta get all the surface oils off. You guys see how great that's covering? With just this little makeup brush, I think she's actually using. <laughs> she just grabbed whatever's <laughs> over there. Um, but you do have to get all the surface oils off of it. And when a, wax, when a piece has been previously waxed or you think it's maybe been previously waxed, you, you definitely want to give it an extra good cleaning because oil and water don't go together. This is water-based paint. Waxes are typically um, They're keeping it from bonding. beeswax. Yep, you want to get that off, so. All right. And then airborne grease. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. Airborne grease that's settling and, in your kitchen. And even pledge. all over your oh. yeah, pledge, armor all. People use all sorts of crazy uh, waxes and so on in their cleaning products. And sometimes you don't even know it. So uh, we'll do the same thing here. We're going to mm -hmm. distress this. Of course, we can't do it here live with you. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll whitewash it. And then I'm going to all this little beaded trim around this bottom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back and distress that and add in the whitewash. Now this is one coat of black over a white, so that's really great coverage there. After um, it dries two away. coats is definitely going to get it. You just want to make sure you let it dry completely and don't overwork it. That's kind of the key with this paint where people tend to, to pull their paint back off because they're trying to do it too quickly. Okay, so quick questions, uh, anybody. Anybody have anything that we can answer before we go? And also, Mel, tell them about our special that we have that's going on tonight only. Okay. Uh, let me run through a couple questions real quick, and then we'll go through the special. Um, Sonia, this is water-based paint. Um, Paula, you can absolutely do your kitchen cabinets. Uh, this paint is great for kitchen cabinets. Let and me we see. have a kitchen cabinet painting kit. Yep. Get over here. Yeah, there. Turn it towards you. That's yeah. fine. Kitchen I was just trying to turn it towards somebody talking here. Um, 
So, yes. The giveaway, don't forget to enter our giveaway. Um, we're going to choose a winner here in a few minutes. So, um, back to the striping up here. Let me see if yeah, I can show them that, no doubt. Hold the camera up. There we go. Does it show it? Yep. Good. Um, this is the striping that we did earlier with the true applicator sponges. We used three colors of paint. We used cappuccino for a little bit of warmth. It's a great tan color. We used manor house, which is an off-white, again, because we wanted some warmth. And then we used iron gate to kind of tie in with the base. So those are the three colors we used. So for the giveaway, tell us what three, or it doesn't have to be three colors, tell us what combination of colors you would use to create kind of a restoration hardware. Would you put in some bright colors? You could absolutely do that with verdigris and Wedgwood and Tuscan wheat. That would be beautiful. So or let us know. Combo up here with red, some of the new mm -hmm. colors. You yeah, some of that. The, definitely. Mediterranean would be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. With a gray and a white. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So just let us know what colors you would use. And you can go to our website at allinonepaint.com. You can see the color card there. And check out all the colors that are available, along with all of the new colors that we've introduced recently. Uh, we have eight new ones that are already unlocked. Oh, sorry. And we have some pastels that are yet to, to come online, but they're mm -hmm. very soon. So. We'll be sharing those with you shortly. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, well, let any me other see if we got, we Yes, can... um, somebody asked if they could use this on a bathroom vanity. Oh, Absolutely. Sure. Um, and let's just run through prep one more time because uh, we got a lot of people asking, what do we use to clean it? We use TSP. You definitely want to use some type of a good degreaser that you can get at your local hardware store. Um, your do it best hardware store if you're going there to get the paint. TSP. There you go. That's exactly Works what you great. use right there. It is a very much a deglosser and it's certainly a grease remover so very good topical product to use mm -hmm. the brand of paint that we're using on this again is the all-in-one paint and we've chosen that because it doesn't require a wax or a top coat but we get the look of um, chalk style paint again this paint is wet right here so it looks a little bit shiny but it's going to dry to this beautiful low luster matte, matte. Yeah. and it feels velvety smooth just like wax chalk paint of course, you could always go and distress that top too if you wanted to. I'm going to set it back up there so okay. we can finish up and show them the new color we talked to them a little bit about. And to enter the giveaway, you're just going to comment here on this post, and we're going to pick a winner here in just a few minutes. All right, so now you can see the tabletop a little bit as we finish up and show you some of the new colors. So these are some of the new colors that are out right now. This is Corinthian, if you can see that, kind of a dark, warm gray, a uh, little bit of a brown to it, very much like Corinthian leather. Uh, this is a new color in olive called Crete, which is gorgeous. I don't know if you all saw Kathy's cabinets that she painted just this week. They were really, really gorgeous. We shared them on the All-in-One Paint page. You can go there on our Facebook page. This is a great color called Meadow Sweet. This is a warm yellow, and all of these colors that I'm showing you have the antiquing gel. It's a companion product to the All-in-One Paint. It's the antiquing gel that's water-based. You put it on, rub it on over your piece, tones it down, and also gives you definition and accents all of the crevices and the detail of your piece. You can make it as intense as you'd like, or you can tone it down. Kind of what we were doing with the paint, but this is a product designed just for that. It stays open for about 12 hours, so if you make something darker than you anticipate, you can just rub it right away with a dampened rag, take a water bottle and totally remove it without damaging your paint. So anyway, that's what we have tonight. And okay, so to the good part, we're gonna talk about uh, the promo for tonight. We are live on Home Talk every Tuesday at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time through the end of November. And then starting in December, we're gonna be changing over to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday night. So definitely always tune in with us. We always have a great DIY for you. Um, the promo tonight is for anything in the all-in-one paint category on our website, allinonepaint.com, and it's 40% off. There's no minimum. You can buy one sample jar and get it 40% off. We do ship worldwide. Somebody asked if we ship to Canada. Absolutely, we do. And there's also no maximum, so buy as much as you want Great at 40% off. Great this, Christmas. this is only going to run through midnight Pacific time, so make sure you act fast. Uh, so that's tonight, 11, 14, 12 o'clock Pacific time. So that's going to give them a couple more hours on the East exactly. Coast. And also, just remember that we do have kits available. These are great gifts, gift items, and you can get a kitchen cabinet painting kit or use it for projects, whatever. You're going to get a quart of paint, a pint of the antiquing gel, as well as a brush, and full instructions on how to use this. Great little gift item for you. And we do have gift certificates mm -hmm. available on our website right now. Yeah. And the cabinet painting kits, 
real quick, uh, Paula uh, may not know, they're actually down on our site right now because we are out of brushes, oh, but our sorry. truck is due in any day now. So as soon as those brushes come in, we will throw those right back up on the site for you. So if it's something you're looking, thinking of buying a gift for someone, that way you can do a gift certificate and that way they can choose their own color and you won't have to worry about what color they might want. We thank you all so much for being with us. Home Talk, we thank you for having us again. We look forward to seeing you here next Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. We hope you get yourself some of the all-in-one paint products and share your projects with us, please. Oh, hashtag us at all-in-one-paint or you can hashtag Heirloom Traditions Paint or just share it with us using the at symbol and find us right on Facebook and that way we'll see your post and we'll share it too. We'd love to share them. And I gotta one pick more a thing. winner. Oh, gotta pick a winner. Gotta pick a winner. I almost always forget. Let's see here. Hold pick on. Pick a good one. She's gonna yep. pick a good one. You're picking colors, right? Whoever yep. picked the most color combo. The, the color I like combo. the best. Let's see. <laughs> so okay. we're winning two samples, right? Two samples, your choice of colors. And when I gotta get through all the comments here to find one. <laughs> Let's go with um Grace Kelly. You chose gray and a very light blue, so that would be like our Wedgwood color or French toile. That would be beautiful. So, Grace Kelly, congratulations. You are a winner tonight. Please email me at melissa at htpaint.com, and we'll link up and get your color selections and get those out to you. Sounds great. Thank you all again for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next time. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.